it all make sense? <laughs> I now understand the nuance behind elven words. <laughs> the ancient lore reveals patterns I would never have suspected. <laughs> it is exhilarating, the rush of images. Truth dangling just out of reach. Tell me more. Take the Alluvians. It was always assumed their use was lost after the Tevinter conquest of Arlathan. But the ancient elves had closed all paths to the crossroads long before. They warred with themselves, and the Alluvians were sealed to prevent an enemy from using them to attack. So much is m misunderstood. It will take years to absorb, if I get the chance. I'm pleased I could give you that, at least. <laughs> and pleased I am to have the chance, believe me. Uh, none of which has anything to do with why I asked you here, of course. Earlier, I said there was a way to match the power of Corypheus, Inquisitor, and there is. We must summon Mathal. Didn't you say that Mithal was long dead? Or a myth? Whatever Mithal was, goddess, myth, or ancient being, the voices of the well say a part of her power lingers on. How or in what form, I cannot say, but that power is exactly what we need. I must go to an altar in the wilderness to perform the summoning, and you must be with me. Will the summoning be dangerous? The altar could have a guardian or other surprises. Thus, your company would be best. Imagine what we will learn, Inquisitor. Some would give their lives to unearth secrets such as this. The altar awaits our visit, Inquisitor. Everything I have done since leaving Ferelden has led me to this. Think of all we will learn. I'll... This is the place. It is. Look for an altar. Ancient, but still standing. There! Do you see it? It is all that remains of the great altar. We few who travel far... Call to me and I will come, without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight, let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear, a very old invocation, perfectly translated. Why, thank you. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice. But this is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared, and there was no one with whom to speak. Your companions will need to go elsewhere. Not to worry, if there is shouting, they will hear it readily enough. I am 
From high priest to high priest, I am the last to drink of sorrows. Come to us, Mithal. Whatever you are, whatever remains, I invoke your name and your power. Mother. Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? What's wrong? We have been deceived! Now, now, that's quite enough of that. What have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. Then you are Mithal? Mithal was an elven god. You, you're... Human? <laughs> Not a word many have used for me in a very long time. I do not understand. How can you be Mathal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages, ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mithal inside you? She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed. Shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says, long ago, you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you killed your lover and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mythal, that's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> then you're Mithal and Morrigan's mother. As well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool, old woman. <laughs> Yet here you stand, bound into my service. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be, until now, it seems. If Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mythal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth, and I, I am but a shadow, 
lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. We summoned you because we need your help. Against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Morrigan. I can help you fight Corypheus. Do you understand, child? Yes. I think I do. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Imagine my surprise to discover it was you. And that is all. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now wish you had drunk from the well. Will you be all right? I... am uncertain. What she said is true, at least. I have the answer to your problem. I can match the Archdemon's power when the time comes. All that remains is for you to find Corypheus. Mother must be very pleased. If I see her again, I will have no choice but to do every single thing she commands. I feel certain what happened at the Temple of Mathal must somehow have been her influence. You might be right. Twas a temple dedicated to her after all. Is it a coincidence we ended up there? There must be a connection we cannot see. I suppose we have little choice but to proceed, and be thankful she assisted us at all. I leave you to the garden. <laughs> 